hi guys welcome to this new video of node express mongodb in this video i will be talking about filtering data from database so we have already got all the data from database which is the nodes data and we are calling this api and it's returning all the objects in the form of array from the database currently we only have five length of it right and uh, for filtering it means that you are building this database and uh, you have to uh, build the front end as well and on the ui web page you might be having some check boxes some drop downs for filtering the data based upon different conditions like filter the data bring me the data that has a price between ten dollar to twenty dollar or uh, return me some data that has a priority greater than ten uh, or return me the data that has uh, this 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 description so these are all the filtering that we can do that belongs to any category that belongs to uh, any particular brand so currently we have this particular controller get nodes and uh, uh, assume that the client will be passing some query params for filtering the data query params is something that i've already explained you in i think the initial videos of this crash course and I'll be explaining you again. So first of all, uh, let me try to manually query and filter the data based upon some property. So let's say that I have this priority and I'm going to pass it to consider it, consider it as a filter. And uh, what it will do is it will only return the nodes which has the priority to. So let's try to save it and uh, i'm going to call this particular api from my postman consider postman as our client right now so the server is running on port uh, since we are connecting with mongodb database let's call it and currently we only had one node with the priority two that's why it is returning only one object so our filter logic will be working like this so now let's try to log something so i'm going to log and just like request.body we can add the request.query and request.query comes from the url of the client so let's try to remove it so now i will go to the postman and try to pass some query param to this particular controller this route so i've already created one uh, resource over here uh, one request actually with the type get and uh, this is how i'm passing the different query params i need to write question mark name of the key it should be a part of any of that particular object and then the value of that which value should it match and if i want to add more than one query param i can use this character called and and then i can add more query params and if i want to add in postman we can actually add these query params from here the query params over below but it does not have any sense over here and it does not exist in our notes object so we can just hide it for now but from the client side if you are building your front-end application in angular react or simple javascript you need to build up this particular url like this from the front end and then trigger the api and then the api will be responsible for returning you the required data based upon the query params you have passed okay so i will hit send and it is actually giving us the same data uh, but we have actually logged something over here so let's see how it is logging so here you can see that this is how it is being printed in the form of object so object priority to important false okay and uh, we can directly pass this over here in node dot find so request dot query let's save and i'm going to remove it okay so priority to important false let's see that how much object we have here that has the priority to and important has to be false both conditions should be true then this then that result will be returned from this if i hit send and uh, this has priority one it will not be returned this is priority two and important is equals to false so this will be returned uh, and there is not a single object that has this these two properties 
uh, exist in any of this so i'm gonna go and filter this out send and now you can see that it has filtered that out uh, with the data over here so let me give priority one and i think there are two objects with the priority one over here this is one and the html is one so send and now you can see that the priority one and the important false both are being met and this is how we are filtering out the data from the database by passing these query params okay so now let's talk about how we can set the range let's say that we want to query based upon the range that return the data that has the priority between two and four okay so let's see how we can do it so let's come back over here and uh, i'm going to hit enter and first of all mongoose provide us different keywords for getting the range if you know there are if else conditions this is the the less than then this is the greater than this is less than equal to and this is greater than equals to and mongoose actually give us the keywords for all these things so for greater for less than it gives us l and t this is for less than and for greater than it gives us g and t and for less than equals to it gives us l t e and greater than equal to g t e so these are the four keywords that mongoose provide us and we can append these keywords from the client side to actually give it to this uh, query to fetch the particular data or a filter particular data okay so what we can do is first of all let me again try to log this data so request.query okay and here come over here and if i want to give it a query that print all the data that has a priority greater than two so i can add the square bracket after the key name and i can write gt and close the square bracket so it means that the return the nodes that has the priority greater than one not included one because i have not added the greater than equals to i've added the greater than one means two and onwards and important equals to false okay so if i hit send uh the reason i'm not uh it's not returning the data because i've not handled it because but i just wanted to look into it that how it's looking over here in the console so important equals to false that's fine and then the priority and then it is creating another object inside it so priority greater than one okay so now i need to handle this in on my mongoose query currently i'm not supporting it in my query right the reason it's not working like this is that uh, the mongoose actually want us to append dollar sign before these keywords like if it is gt gte lt lte there has to be a dollar sign so it's a, it is a string we first needs to actually convert it into a stringify it and then we need to find out that anywhere the any of these four keywords exist in our string then append dollar sign before each of these keyword we can use the regular expression for that so we can here first of all i'm going to convert it in the let's say the query string and then the json dot stringify request dot query so i have stringified it because i want to apply the regular expression regular expression only works on the strings so query string equals to query string dot replace and uh, the regular expression i'm going to copy something over here like this 
so this regular expression means that go through the whole string and wherever these four keywords exists append the dollar sign before each of these okay and uh, i'm going to add this query string now again so query string let's save and now i will hit this query again uh, on the postman it will not generate any data because uh, i'm not passing this query string over here as of now uh, but uh let's see what we see in our console uh if the dollar sign is appended along with these keywords right so i'm waiting for database to be connected successfully so let's go ahead and uh, this is the filter let's send again the same error come here and now you can see that it has actually stringified it and there is a dollar sign append before this we need to parse it before passing it to this so ignore these uh, double quotes right now so the dollar is added over here so in order to pass it to our uh, note dot find we need to pass this query string to it okay so to pass this query string we can uh, first json dot parse and then query string okay i'm going to remove these these logs to make my console a bit cleaner right and uh, i'm waiting for db connection to be successful yeah it's success and let's go and try to hit the send and yeah so it is printing i think one two three and three data with the priority two three and seven and let's see uh the html one were having the priority one and uh, this node one were having the priority one so these two objects of node are not included so this is how we can add the range in our query params and uh, utilize that these keywords to be passed in our we are actually passing these from here because uh, it's not required to add these gt in our client side but it's convenient that uh, on the on the server side uh, in this route we don't need to make any change to these keywords okay otherwise if something else were being passed from the client side we will have to uh, add if condition if uh, it says let's say less than a complete word then we have to check that if it is less than keyword then uh, use gt against it okay but uh, it's convenient that from the client side uh, you are actually passing the same kind of keywords which are required on the back end to avoid extra lines of code uh, and make the code cleaner right and we can add more than one range as well so let's say that uh, if we have uh, this important equals to false because all of these are false uh, we cannot make any change to it if uh, let's say greater than two i have added this and if i hit enter it is only showing two it has excluded the two and uh, let's say that the greater than equals to two send and now priority two note have been included as well because greater than equal to two have been added over here right so this is how we can add different filtering in our code one last thing i would like to add here is that uh, i want to add few checks that should not conflict with our query sometimes in our query params let's say that uh, uh, client want to pass some kind of sort or uh, client want to pass some kind of limit these are the predefined keywords in mongoose and it should not be confused with any of the property over here okay if we pass that sort equals to one limit equals to 10 then it it should not be uh, included as a part of this 
uh, find method because if find method find any keyword which is not existing in this particular schema of the node then it will cause an issue we should handle these kinds of properties separately and these kinds of filtering properties separately so for the filtering logic i will be excluding all the query params that contains the keywords like sort limit fields page uh, and these fields are used for pagination so first of all i'm going to check that if const excluded fields equals to page second one is the sort and then the limit and then the fields okay these are the four properties which are the built-in and uh, on the client side uh, we usually pass these uh, built-in functions as a part of query param but we don't want to include it as a part of filtering the data from the database from any schema okay so this is something we can add a query object equals to and then we can clone this query object okay so we need to add three dots over here as a part of spread operator and then we can add our logic so excluded fields dot for each and then element equals to delete query object element okay and what it will do is even if we pass the query param with the name page equals to one sort equals to four or limit equals to something or fields equals to something uh, before it goes to stringifying this query and applying these all the logic below it will remove these query params from the object okay from this query object and then we can actually rather than passing the query request dot query we can pass the query object to it because we want to pass the updated objects to it so let's save it and uh, let me try the logic that we have actually written down here if it's working fine or not i'm going to go to uh, waiting for this db connection and it's going to be successful let me save this when you are using postman don't forget to save the document and uh, currently you can see that uh, I can pass limit equals to five. Let's send and it's returning the same data. There is no issue on this log and uh, as well as over here, even though I pass this limit, it didn't told me that limit does not exist in any of the property of the notes schema, right? So guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. In the next video, I will talk about sorting and limits in mongo schema so look uh, see you in the next video